Hi guys! So starting off with my plain face, I already have foundation on and my eyebrows is done. I'm just going in with my primer and this Milk Jumbo Pencil by NYX. NYX. <laughs> NYX. <laughs> um, and I'm using this Jordana eyeshadow. It's called Your Majesty. And I'm just using that as my transition color. Going in with that left middle shade from the Vanity Palette, I'm just using it all over my eyelid. And now going back in with Your Majesty just to blend everything out. And then just highlighting my brow bone. Now I'm going in with e.l.f. Um, Teal Tees. And let me tell you guys, this eye, I should have just stopped right there. And then the flick went, went too long. And I just hated it. I didn't like the eyeliner. It took like a million coats, like a million coats just to get the opacity I wanted. I just didn't like it, the consistency. It was too thin. I just, as you guys can see at this point, I have layered this eyeliner to the max, I'm telling you, like I just kept going. And I ended up fixing that wing um, that I did a little too long because I didn't, I didn't mean for it to extend that long. So it was just trial and error because it was my first time using this gel liner. I just was not a fan. So now I'm just going with my mascara, also by NYX. And I made a boo-boo on the other eye, but I'm going to clean that up. The mascara fell on my face. So now I'm just going with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'm using Toast. And I'm just using it to highlight um, everywhere I want highlighted on my face. If you guys would like an in-depth highlighting and contouring video please thumbs up this video and let me know or leave it in the comments below and let me know um it's not something you have to do i like to do it when i started doing it i like the way my face looked and i continue doing it and um i don't really like to use anything way too light in my face this is like one or two shades lighter and i end up going in to blend it really well when i'm done with it with my foundation brush. So right now I'm just pressing everything into my skin to make sure it's all evened out to the way I want it. Getting all the nooks and crannies. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my foundation brush. So there's no harsh line between the rest of my face and where I highlight it. Now I'm just highlighting my chin and my forehead. And I'm going to set everywhere I have highlighted with my Ben Nye Olive Sand. Um, I like this powder uh, because it's not too red and it's yellow enough. I didn't like the banana because it was too light with some yellow undertones. It just, I just never really was a fan of that. So Olive Sand works perfectly fine for me. So I'm just pressing that to the highlighted areas. I'm just letting it set so I won't get any creasing. And now I'm just going to wipe that off with my powder brush with no product on it. Actually, no, I lied. <laughs> I'm going to contour my face with On The Night. And for contouring, it's better to use a cooler um, grayish brown. N nothing warm like a lot of the palettes I've been seeing all these companies come with it's like really really warm and a lot of people don't 
to each his own but when you're contouring you're kind of trying to emphasize the depth and shadows of your face so it's best to use a cooler shade so i'm just wiping this off finally now with no product and then i'm gonna go in with my dark cocoa by bay nye and then set my whole face And I'm just going in with my Wet n Wild mascara, and I don't even this mascara. I don't. It doesn't have a name. It's just the purple one, <laughs> and I only love using it for my bottom lashes. And I'm using a no name blush. I think I got it from the beauty supply store, or the name rubbed off. I I can't remember. And now I'm going in with my NYX Illuminator in Enigmatic. And this is my favorite highlighter because I've used a couple of other ones since I started actually highlighting my cheeks. And this is just the one for me. <laughs> We're meant to be. And I'm going in with NYX Butter Gloss and Apple Strudel. And I'm just using that to line. I didn't want to use any dramatic lipstick. So this is the finished look. Hope you guys like it and I will see you in my next video.